Hello, everybody. Tonight, we're going to make some rigotta gnocchi. This is something I remember from my childhood. My mom used to make it all the time. I start out with, this is about three quarters of a pound to a pound of rigotta that's been drained. All right, so in a little cheesecloth in a uh, colander, you sit it in the fridge for a while and you try to drain the water out of it to get it dry. I'm going to now add to that one egg. You'll see a various recipes for this. Some say two eggs, some say more, some say, you know, or some would say just yolks. I, one egg is enough. All I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to mix this up until I get it nice and smooth mixture of the egg and the rigotta. What I'm going to add to that is some base. You can add anything you want. People have different types of herbs, different types of seasoning, some do saffron, whatever. This is, I'm going to do basil some lemon zest uh, and i'm gonna do great a little bit of fresh nutmeg into it which adds a nice little flavor so grating a little fresh we used to you know you'll see in some restaurants actually what you'll see is some of them will call this nudie um, we used to just call it rigotta gnocchi. There's two types of gnocchi. There's potato and there's rigotta. We just used to call it that a lot of restaurants call it nudie you get a little bit of salt pinch of salt mix this up okay so now i've got the base for it and then what you do is you add flour to this until you get the right consistency to make the make the gnocchi now i've got a cup of flour here i'm probably not going to need all of that but you know i just want to make sure i've got it uh available so i put a little bit in i'll start mixing it up and we're trying to try to get it still what we want to do is we were going to be able to form it into into some like logs that then we can cut into the correct gnocchi shape. So I'm just going to keep working on this until I get the right consistency that I can pick this up and roll it. So it's still a little bit starting to thicken up nice. It's pretty good. It's not quite there yet. A little bit more flour. Okay, we're going to mix it. Now I get it to the point where it's time to just start using my hands. So we'll mix this up and I, I wanna make sure I get the right feel for it. Like I said, it's gotta be able to be formed into these logs that I can cut. So I, I think I need a little bit more flour and put a little more. Looks like I'm, I'm gonna end up using about three quarters of that cup of flour tonight. And the reason I can't give you an exact amount is when you, when you drain the regatta, depending on which one you buy and what you've got, you don't know exactly how much moisture is going to be left in it. You're going to add an egg. You don't know exactly what the size of the egg is. So, you know, how, how, how much liquid that has. So you're not going to know. So here I've got a nice dough. You can see this is the consistency I'm aiming for. Because what I want to be able to do now is I want to be able to take it and roll it into little logs like this. I'm going to see how I'm getting it into a nice log shape like that. And then what I'm going to do to make the gnocchi is I'll be cutting them like this. One, two, three, until I've, until I've cut them all up. So after the break, I'm going to have finished cutting all of these up and then uh, we'll make, turn this into a dish for tonight. Thank you. Okay, so I've got my gnocchi all cut up. Um, here you go. They're all nice uh, little pillows here. And we've got them all ready to go in. The water's already boiling, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drop these in. Meanwhile, over here on the side, what I have uh, heating up is some olive oil and butter, about a 50-50 mix. I'm going to get that nice and hot. Drop these in. These are, are ready when they come floating to the top. So right now we'll just drop them all in. Okay. The water's still boiling. This is heating up now. When I had to, when I did these, one of the things I didn't mention earlier is as you're rolling them out, you know they're going to tend to be a little bit sticky as the dough rolls out. So you're going to have some flour on the board. And this way you can roll it and you can add a little bit of flour and uh, you know that sort of helps them not stick as you're rolling the dough out to, to cut it. So we're going to let these um, come, up, come up to the surface. What we're going to do today is I'm going to make this, I'm going to make a dish 
that has uh, have some leftover. I had some leftover um, short rib. So I got the leftover short rib that I've shredded, the leftover veggies that went with it. I have some Kalamata olives that I'm going to add. Um, and I have some uh, veal demi-glace. You can get this at a lot of supermarkets. They have it in the freezer section. If not, you can order it on the internet. So right now, the gnocchi here are just about ready to go. It doesn't take very long uh, there to, for them to come up to the top. What I'm going to do, the reason I have this not nice hot oil and butter, is I want to sort of give them a nice little crisp um, or before I start adding all the other ingredients. So here we go. Looks like they are ready to go. Yeah, they look perfect. And so they've all puffed up. And I'm going to throw them right here in this pan. And yeah, there's a little bit of splatter because they're wet. The oil is the butter is quite hot, of course. Turn that off. I think I got them all. Yeah, I got them all. All right. So now, again, what I'm doing is I want to kind of get a little caramelization on these, a little bit of crisp on the outside. So I got this up pretty high. And we're just going to just. Let them cook for a while like that. Get them a little bit brown. I had all my other ingredients over here ready to go. Get a, I have to get a bowl because I'm going to want to put this, plate this when I'm done. Put this over here. So, yeah. Now you can see they're starting to get a little bit brown. That's exactly what I want. So now that I've got that, I am going to add my veggies that were previously cooked. They were part of the braise. I'm going to put in the short rib. And the olive. Get a little salt. Some pepper. Again, toss it around. That's looking really good. And now what I want to do is I'm going to add, to, in order to create a sauce, I'm going to add some demi gloss, some veal demi gloss. Too much. That was maybe about a third of a cup's worth. Let that cook down a little bit. And then Parmesan cheese. Can, I, can you see me through here? Can you see me through the steam? All right, that looking good. I will grate some Parmesan on top of that. We're just about done. I'm gonna grate it on top and mix it in a little bit. That cooked down quite nicely. There's not too much liquid in it. And so it looks like we are ready to go. Oh, yeah, that's looking really good. All right, turn that off. Plate it. Make one plate here. So there's one plate. And course we have to top it with a little more parmesan and a little bit of fresh basil let's give it a try hmm that's really good the gnocchi are so soft and pillowy they're not heavy they're not dense a nice little browning on them most of the flavor comes from the uh, braised beef that, that I put in. Uh, so I didn't need to add a lot of other stuff, but the Kalamata olives has a nice little touch to it too, as that little flavor. So again, here we go. Tonight we made rigotta gnocchi, and then we put it together with a little bit of uh, braised short rib. Good having you here. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time.